What's up everybody? Welcome to GIS Chops. Today we're going to be talking about another alignment feature. I've talked about the Align Features tool. If you want to see that video, I've got a link in the description, so go check that one out when this one's done. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Align Edge tool. So the Align Edge tool is located here in the alignment group of the Modify Features pane. But you can see it's grayed out here, and it used to be with ArcMap, if there was a tool that was grayed out, you had to go to all the forums and see why is my tool grayed out, or Google it, why is the Align Edge tool grayed out. But there's a handy little thing in ArcGIS Pro which helps ArcGIS Pro beat ArcMap by a long ways. You hover over the tool, and then it says at the bottom there, this command is currently unavailable. And then it tells you why or how to enable it. To get this tool to be usable, you have to enable the map topology. So you turn on map topology and that gets your align edge tool available. When we activate the align edge tool, it shows what Esri calls the topology grid. It shows edges and nodes. What happens is it, where these different features intersect, it creates a node and then the pink lines are edges and you can see the dots are the nodes. So, lines are edges, dots are nodes. So this tool works by hovering over an edge. When you do that, it changes the symbology of that edge or adds symbology to that edge to make it an interactive option. You click either the solid line or the dashed line. I'm gonna zoom in so that you can see better what I'm talking about. So if you hover over an edge, it makes that edge solid and then the other one dashed. The way this tool works is which, whichever edge you hover over and click, that's gonna be the edge that moves. So if I click this one, it's gonna drop it down to that other one, and then that makes those two lines between, between those, this node and this node, it's now coincidence. So you see it shows up solid. Now if I hover over that line, it's trying to snap it to the one clear across so it would make this polygon essentially go away and we don't want to do that so so if you click that by accident and it drops that edge over to the other one and you hit save edits you've lost lost that polygon so you really got to pay attention to what you're doing when you're using this tool we'll undo that and zoom in closer here to some of these smaller ones so the solid line jumps to the dashed line and we'll just go through and oh now that one it's not possible I guess So maybe trying that out would help fix the ones around it and then save that one for last. So you know you have all your gaps taken care of when you can't see any nodes on a line. So I went through and fixed all those and there's this last one here that is refusing to, to get fixed and I found out why. It's because it's its own polygon. If I use my select tool and select that, it's its own polygon, so I'm just gonna delete it. Now it's gone. So that's why it wouldn't work, it was going to delete the whole polygon. So there you have the Align Edge tool. It's a handy tool that lets you align edges more interactively. You have to have the topology enabled, but it's a pretty neat tool that lets you change things a little more interactively and have a little bit more control than some of the other Align Features tools. Thanks for sticking around to the end. Only the good looking people make it to the end, so I appreciate that. I really appreciate you for watching my content. Give this video a like. That like button needs a chop from you, so give it one. And we'll see you next time. Oh, hey, watch this video. No, this one. That one. We'll see you next time.